Hello friends, welcome back to this new episode and in this episode I will show you how to remove a single item from the cart list. So if you are new on my channel, please consider to subscribe on my channel and turn on notification for future updates. Let's go back to my Eclipse ID and uh, the project uh, is opened in my ID and it's uh, running on my browser. So you can see that uh, in last video we have done so far we have uh, working on this price increasing quantity increasing decreasing formatting the price but in this tutorial i'll show you how to remove one item from the list uh, let's uh, go back to my eclipse id and first of all i'm going to create a servlet which name is a remove from cart servlet so let's create it then click on next and now edit the url so i am making it a small letter and then click on ok and then next uh, we are getting only do get so don't need do post then click on finish uh, i am going to remove unnecessary comments from here this is our sublet url so this is our response then context path okay now let's uh, go back to our card.jsp page and uh, configure the remove url so this is our remove url so remove from card slash and we are going to pass a id and uh, uh, id equal to jsp expression tag and uh, we are where we can get the id you can say c dot get id okay save control s so it's save and uh, from here just uh, start with the try case block and here you can say print writer out equal to response dot get writer okay so now let's uh, get the id we are passing from this uh, parameter quest dot uh, get uh, parameter which is id and store that value into a variable which is uh, id and initially just uh, i am showing that id so out dot println uh, product id plus id now restart the server next and finish okay the server has been restarted so i'm going to close the old tab go to our home page uh, then select one product then go to the cart page and hover here so there you can see at the left side corner the uh, remove from cart so there i misspelled the url so let's uh, figure it out correction so, so i'm going to close it so this is our url i'm going to copy it to avoid any mistake paste then refresh it seems now it's perfect so click on remove so you can see that uh, it's uh, not uh, getting this uh, remove from cart id slash sublet so this is missing okay so let me okay so we have some issue here let's uh, set content type response dot uh, set uh, content type uh, which is uh, text by html text slash html and our set uh, utf dash eight okay let's save it and then oh i see which is uh, control z which is id equal to so we had a mistake so actually we paste it we put it slash here so it's not uh, getting that url so that's why we are uh, passing getting that the servlet is not exist or not found so now i think it's done so let's uh, go back to our browser refresh it and then product you can see that we got the product id uh, we have done here so the things we need to do here so first of all uh, i need to check it out that uh, the product we are getting is null or not if uh, id equal to null or id is not equal to null 
then we will do some performance or we can uh, else we can uh, return the response so response dot uh, send redirect we are going to pass them card dot jsp page so when the id is not null so let's uh, uh, collect the cart list from the session how to do that say array list array list which is uh, cart type so import it and then say cart underscore list equal to cast it array list then cart so i'm going to cast it here first and then ask from the session uh, so request dot uh, request dot get uh, session dot uh, get attribute so we have uh, passing that attribute as a we have passed that attribute as a card list so now we received our card list and then let's uh, check a uh, check if uh, card list is not empty card underscore list is not equal to now then we'll start a loop for cart type c then cart list and then say if c dot uh, get uh, id equal to now we need to parse the integer dot parse integer and then pass the id so we are uh, uh, getting that uh, cart id from the array list and we are comparing the id with that uh, id with the cart list id and then i am uh, saying cart dash list cart underscore list dot remove and then we can say uh, cart list dot index of we can pass the whole object which is uh, c so it will remove that product from our cart list and then i am going to break it here so after all so it's not now then it will complete the loop and then we are passing them to the cart.js so save it we are getting an error here okay initially ignore it if it uh, calls something high so we'll check it later okay, now refresh uh, the project restart the server so there is no product right now so add uh, two more product and then just remove one so you can see it successfully removed that product from the list so if i refresh it it's not come back so if i click on remove so it's removed successfully if i click on again so it's removed i add uh, one more product then so friends uh, that's uh, all for this video tutorial so thanks for watching and see you in next video